Hi, it's Rebecca. Today I'm going to talk to you about some of the amazing things I learned from my acting coach years ago, Stella Adler, in New York City. Um, it was about 1979 when I went to her actor's studio in Manhattan and um, studied acting with her. And it was an amazing experience. She was one of the greatest acting teachers on the planet, trained many famous actors, including people like Marlon Brando, Steve McQueen, um, Warren Beatty, Melanie Griffith. She used to love to talk about Warren, um, not Warren Beatty, she talked about him, but she also talked an awful lot about Marlon Brando because I think she took him under her wing when she first met him and uh, helped him develop himself into a great actor. But she wasn't just teaching the art of acting. She was teaching a course in life and how to live it. Um, because <clears throat> actors have to be very, very aware of what's going on with their fellow human beings in order to be good actors. You have to study people. And she would give us you know, little exercises to do as we were cruising around Manhattan where we lived. Um, ways to check out people and really notice things about their behaviors and um, to figure out how we could incorporate those things into our repertoire once we became actors. Um, and it was a really fascinating, fascinating course. Not only did I study technique with her, but I had a Shakespeare teacher and a voice teacher who taught us how to breathe from the diaphragm and speak properly. Um, I developed this mid-Atlantic accent, which has kind of faded away. I've gone back to my New England accent, but um, it's um, that accent where you, you can't really tell where someone's from. That was what they used to teach back in those days. But one of the key things that I learned from Stella was that when you're delivering a message, I don't care if you're communicating with a person that's just a friend or a family member, or if you're giving a talk or a presentation, it's really, really important to be totally present. That means you're not thinking about all sorts of other things as you're delivering your message. You're totally focused on what you're saying and you're present. And um, you'll hear people talk about meeting some famous person like a Jackie Kennedy, or I've heard it about Bill Clinton. When you meet them, it's like you're the only one in the room. Um, you're their best friend. It's as if they really know you. And um, people that have that ability to connect with people because they are very, very present are much more effective with things that they're trying to do in their lives. It's a, it's a skill that you can develop. Um, and then another thing that I learned through Stella, you know, she studied with Stanislavski. She was the only actor in America that ever studied with Stanislavski. She went to Paris to study with him and spent uh, quite a bit of time there learning his technique. And it was sort of a new concept because actors had been using their memories in order to just memorize their scripts and, and operate. But he was all about using your imagination. This is what method acting is all about. When you imagine that you're the character, you become the character and then you are authentic and you are believable and you actually make people believe that you are that person that you're portraying in, in a role. And um, that's why <clears throat> if you really wanna hire a good life coach, it's good to get one who has maybe studied acting because um, if you want to become the next best version of yourself or manifest something into your experience that is just a figment of your imagination at this point, you need a technique that will teach you how to become in your imagination that person and attract it into your life because you are being it. You're not thinking about it. You are becoming it. You have become it. And once you become something, you can't help but attract it. You are it. That is you. You are living it. And then that's how it manifests. So um, I've learned a lot of interesting things from Stella Adler. And um, I'm 
grateful that I was able to meet her when she was teaching and doing her thing. She went on to teach um, almost 10 more years after I met her. Um, she had a studio in Los Angeles and one in New York. But um, like I said, it was really a course in life more than acting. And I'm so glad I got to experience it.